all collect the drugs and they have the stolen the drugs and they destroy everything in hospital especially in wards female pediatric male ward laboratory and uh, maternity everything they have stolen it now even some like a uh, machine like a uh, microscope they have all destroyed hiv drugs they have all destroyed we were also there's the request the genic machine to help those who are hiv and uh, also those of uh, tb but now all everything has been destroyed now we are facing challenges because now, especially now, this, this is a real time for war. We were dying, nothing like drugs. Where are we going to get the drugs? The child can suffer from malaria. There is no anti-malaria. Nothing to be helped with the child. We don't have outpatient here. We are depending on it very far. If somebody now died here, somebody is unconscious, how will you help? You go night there, you don't go because the security is not good. So also we need OTP for the children. And also has minority children. In OTP, you send the children from OTP to the stabilization center. But here we don't have now. Everything has been destroyed. So it is very difficult. For Refera, this is very, very difficult for us because we have an ambulance, but the ambulance can't move from here to, to Yambio to refer a patient because of the insecurity on the road. Currently, we can do what we can afford because we don't, we don't have all the equipment, like the laboratory uh, for blood transfusion. It is, they use the laboratory to screen and then uh, drain the, the, the blood for the patient. Our laboratory equipment were all destroyed. Currently, what we do here in terms of lab is only the malaria, rapid diagnostic test. 